also tonight we just want to say welcome if this is your yes. first time welcome. joining us. We are so glad you're here. Yes, if, you, if you've got your cameras off but like you're ready, you're in there, hello to you guys. But if, if you want, you can turn your cameras. We'd love to see you. We're all about finding community here and we want everyone to feel like you don't have to hide behind a face but you can be yourself. Yes. And so, um, so we would love to just welcome you. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, and we want to help Lovely. you know Jesus, discover your purpose as well, and all, find all of the above. Yeah. And also, guys, last week, can we just can we just reflect on how good last week was with the Ancliffs? Oi, that was my good. goodness. Kicking off, hey Google, with answering and all the burning questions. Where is it now? It is on YouTube. How good is that? Okay. So you can go back and watch it on YouTube, yeah. type in C3SYD Youth, it will pop up. If you're not subscribed, get some, someone can put it in the chat right now, yeah, the, YouTube the YouTube link. channel. Hey, we got content every week going up there. You can, I love our content. You can go back, watch Katie Hardane, you can yes. go back, watch everything. Yes. Um, but that online, um, that, yeah. that deep dive. But we're doing a part two tonight. We are, we're doing part two for Hey Google and tonight is a little bit different. So last week we did all like, the juicy questions, like answering all, yep. you know, the questions that you have, right, that you're almost too afraid to ask. Tonight, we're doing a deep dive into dating. Okay, dating. And, you know, what it, like, what not it just what it is to date, but we're going to dive into four things that, you know, we should really look at within ourselves that we've got. Our motivations. Motivations before we even enter into a relationship. Yeah. So it's going to be so, good. And we'll connect groups after. And I love Connect Group. You can pull apart all the questions. We heard of so many yes. awesome um, Connect Groups having like heaps of epic discussions, pulling apart big topics, and we hope that we can help you in that tonight. So are the Ancliffs there? The yes, Ancliffs. Yes, we're can talking we, with the Ancliffs Can we cross tonight. to the Ancliffs? You guys in your home. Ancliffs, why don't you unmute and give us a hello? Hello, Ancliffs. You there? Oh, yeah, they've done it, eh? Unmute themselves, eh? Ancliffs. Ancliffs. All right. Well, I wish you guys could just be here. Guys, um, just come. Can we do this in person? Can we just come here? Can you come in? We can't hear you, we'll, eh? We'll take, we'll take long to get here. Can you get in? Maybe. Can they, can they travel here? Well, I don't think they can. I, they, they can't. True. What are they doing? Hey, they guys. Suck. Yo! Oh, <laughs> no! Did you run here? Yeah, that was my we... cardio for the year. I'm, I'm impressed. You. That was multiple kilometers. Oh, my heart. Oh, nice. oh my god. Guys, <laughs> nice. we well ran done. all the way from Warunga just <laughs> so yeah. the man. The best LGA out there. <laughs> <laughs> LGA. What's happening? Oh, yeah. Shout out, shout out, Warunga. Oh, Where are you guys? Shout out, Warunga, my hometown. Yes. Grew and up and in the Warunga. West, Silverwater, Parramatta. Yeah. Oh, hey, West Sam. Oh. Hey, Ness. <laughs> Ness is blessed from the West, y'all. Yo, Ness is oh, that blessed. is good. Who loves our pastors? Uh, yeah, oh, we love you guys. Let us just love on you. Oh, yeah. oh, Let God. us love on you. Yes. Best youth pastors ever. Oh, Thanks for letting yeah. us preach last week. That yeah, was fun. Was Hope good. that was helpful. Yeah. Guys, you, so were, you were incredible. Oh, like, I heard on the money. Teenagers <laughs> remembered your phrases and the style. It was dripping off your lips. Like, yeah. It Incredible. Was, you were dripping and you're dripping with your, like, you know, your outfit yeah. was on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the drip. The drip, right? The drip. I meant the drip, you know. Um, oh my goodness. But we couldn't, we, we just couldn't not yeah. have you again, you know? Like, talk about dating, talk about the hot topics, yeah, dive uh -huh. into it. You guys yeah. got the gold and the wisdom and, what, you know, it's conversation stuff. tonight. Yeah. We're all just chatting. We're chatting. Now we're, we're all together. A bunch of people have dated before. Yeah, been yeah. single. Yeah. Be, been single. <laughs> Yo, yes, we really had that one. Like I dated Emily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I dated Jesse. Yeah. But yeah, we've, we've been single. I've been single and too. We've been married. Okay, how long have you been married? Two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Time wow. flies. I got that right, people. Thank Time you. Time flies. Oh. <laughs> Remember that anniversary, eh? What about you guys? Almost a year. Almost a year. Eight, eight months, Almost nine months. We got married in December. What are we now? Anything special planned? Nine I'll months. Suggest? Yeah. Um, Actually, look, yes. <laughs> I think she, I was planned it. I was, I was booked a bit of a anniversary, I think. I was like, Jess, yeah, I'm booking our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> She's booked something. No, but we didn't start dating to 
Uh, Elle, what, how, I was 19. I was 20. Elle was 20. Yeah. Yes. So we were single through all of our teens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't date at all through high school. Yeah. First boyfriend. A, a few little flings, but like a few little. Yeah. First and last. Like a few little. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Amen was, to that. It, was, it wasn't the One proper official yeah, yeah, yeah. till L. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you had some flames. Yeah. yeah they went flames. out. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. 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 I, I, I stayed though. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And Thank guys, you. as we're talking, we just want you to know that like, if you feel like you're in this season, if you're walking yeah. through it, um, mm -hmm. if you're going through stuff as well, we just want to make sure that we know that you are loved and this is all in love. There is no condemnation. There is no shame here at all. Um, totally. And Em, I think you said it so well last week. We are coming into aligning, we're alignment. We're aligning ourselves. Yeah. yeah, to Jesus. Yeah. 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 So let's get straight to it. Who's ready? Pop it in the chat. You ready? All right. Let's so we're going to talk there. about some... Heart motivations okay. in dating. Yeah. So, Tyne M, can yeah. you kick us off with, I guess, you know, value and worth yeah. go pretty hand in hand. I Do you want to, like, explore okay. that yeah. with dating? I don't know about you, but sometimes the motivations are not good or not healthy. Right. Mm. And um, I think, you know, we're going to quickly cover, like, two motivations that if we're, you know, if the reason we're dating is to get value or worth, yeah. mm -hmm. that's probably like out of our boyfriend or out of our girlfriend. That's probably actually not a healthy motivation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, you know, I remember when I was in year 11, I, um, I kind of like, you know, I was like 17 and pr it kind of felt like everyone was dating. It just like, I don't know if you've ever felt like that, but you look around and you're like, am I the only <laughs> single person left on the earth? <laughs> like, it just, it honestly, like, I looked around my school, I went to Freshie, and I was like, everyone's hooking up. Like, is it just me? And I, like, took on this pressure that I just felt like I had to date. Wow. Yeah. And so I ended up dating this chick. Her name was Emily. I don't know. If, <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> telling me I'm not, I'm not the only You're Emily not the in only your Emily. life? <laughs> Wait, there was another Emily. I think I have a thing for Emilys. I don't know. What's going on. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was yeah, another yeah. Emily. There was another Emily. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god. Anyway. <laughs> it was <laughs> like, I didn't even really like, I didn't even really That's like her. Like, there wasn't she like, really a flame. like the there Lord wasn't... said the name Emily to him. He just wasn't quite right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be five years later. And yeah. Like, yeah. She loved the Lord. But it was like, oh, I let the pressure of like, yeah. uh, oh, to, to be, yeah. you know, to have worth and to be popular. And this is just what everyone's doing. And it, it led me to make that decision, not because it was actually good for me, but because I had that other motivation. The pressure. Yeah, it was pressure. And so, um, you know, talking about worth, when we are looking to a relationship, when we're looking to another person mm. to give us worth, that is not healthy. Yeah. yeah. True. And something crazy is like, we have grown up in like the social media. Yes. Like, world. Oh. Social like media, Snapchat, big. those streaks. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys are gonna be like fifty and have like forty-five-year-old streaks, you know, like <laughs> you know, TikTok, like Instagram, what have you. But like, hey, I love hopping on the gram. Don't get me wrong. But the thing about social media is like, it teaches us that the more likes I get mm. and the more like comments I get, it, like it, it tells me that my worth is like yes how the numbers make it look. Yeah. Yes. Like if I have heaps of likes, mm. if I have heaps of comments, that's why I see y'all organizing your friends, dropping like 10 comments on a photo just to boost that thing. I see what you're doing. I know, I see you. Oh, guilty, see you. but you're guilty. guilty. <laughs> yeah, Jesse called me just to like comment on his like, picture. No, no. like <laughs> yeah. I've been there, honestly. Yeah, oh, but yeah. the thing is like, yeah. that teaches us mm. that we're only valuable when what we're putting out is being like Validated. liked by other people. Yeah. And so it's like if we bring that kind of worldview and understanding into a relationship, mm. it's like we think I'm going to have to like the only way I'm valuable in this relationship is they like what I'm giving. Yeah. Mm. So if someone doesn't like me or if someone rejects me, then I have no value. Wow. wow. It's a t yeah. And so it's like, hey, life's good if I'm liked or if someone finds me hot. But then it's like, as soon as that goes away, life is not good. Oh, wow. And you realize the foundation or the motivation was not good. Yeah. Okay, yes. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. I feel that yeah. big yeah. time. Yeah, it's getting that validation from like an external 
person yes, yeah. or an external yeah. source. Yeah. Mm. And I actually think the same thing happens. Now, this might be a little bit controversial, but hear me out. Okay. I think the same thing happens when you flirt with someone. Mm. Oh, we going there. Flirting, flirting might seem kind of fun and cute and like innocent. <laughs> We've all done it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> kind of flirting, yes. But here's where I see <laughs> a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Mm. Is that that, again, like that flirting kind of action is like putting yourself out there yes. for your own validation. And you mm. might actually lead someone on, but actually have no interest in pursuing something there. Yeah. But hey, I'm sure we all know the feeling when someone sends you a message or someone likes that picture, something goes, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's true. Oh, they liked me. Oh, they sent me a, yeah. a message or whatever it is. And that, that little spark that happens. <laughs> yes, yes, the butterflies. Yeah. The butterflies. I think yeah. the same thing happens when you flirt with someone. Yeah. And it's actually, it's not fair on the other person. Mm. And I know I'm speaking as a girl, but same thing happens for guys. If a guy is flirting with a girl, that's not fair on her, vice versa. Because you're actually leading someone on and you're playing with their heart and emotions. Mm. And the thing with relationships is that you actually do form emotional bonds and attachments with a person. Yep. Yeah. And by you flirting with them with no sort of interest of pursuing that in a loving, healthy relationship, that's actually playing with their emotions and it's a bit manipulative and it's actually oh. self-serving yeah. to yeah, wow. flirt with someone for right. your own validation. Wow. wow. And sometimes it's only human. Like we don't even know it sometimes. Oh, like yeah. It just comes out of us, that, that flirting nature. and. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we've all been there with it. Yeah. But that's yeah. so good, like the playing with like the heart. Yeah. 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 But I think like yeah. the the root of it comes to where does your self worth come from? Yeah. yeah. Are you seeking it from other people? Yeah. Or can you confidently say what your worth is? Yeah. Whether no person liked a photo, whether no one told you you were beautiful, whether no one else made a comment, can you actually stand? Yeah. Mm, yourself wow. in front of God and say, I know that I'm worthy in you. Yeah. Yeah, and the wow. thing is, you're worthy of a loving relationship. Yeah. You are worthy to have someone call you beautiful, to say that you're loved. But you're also worthy as a person who's single. Yes. <laughs> Your worth doesn't increase just because yeah. you got married or you got a partner. No. Like so You are worthy. You're worthy yeah. as you are. And mm. so to have that as your foundation before entering a relationship, before mm. seeking validation from any anyone else, mm. you know, um, Proverbs 4 says, guard your heart. Above all else, guard your heart from e everything from that. That's where it will flow from. Yep. And so it's like, that's what you want to get right. You want to be able to guard your heart, mm. not be flirting here and there, not be posting pictures just yeah. to get some likes and no. validation. Yeah. It's yeah. Guard your heart, protect yeah. yourself and yes. know your self-worth in and of, it, of yourself. Oh, yeah. Come wow. on, give that's up the so M. You just went there with that. <laughs> that's, that's just <laughs> preaching <laughs> that there. And that is so true. And I think we've all got to go on that own, our own walk and our own revelation with how do we guard our heart? Yeah. And we can say that a lot, but what are the practical outworkings of that? Yeah. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, watching yourself when you're flirting or the leading on of someone when there's no healthy yeah. future for that that you want to pursue with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I've heard this like a bit like this hookup culture, mm -hmm. like, mm. and we can hook up in like a, a relationship and just satisfy our needs and our feelings a bit. Mm. And then like when, when it's done, when the feelings are over, it's like, all right, drop it, see you later, pick it up. And, yeah. and that hookup so, yeah. culture, which we're yeah, very yeah. in, mm. like, and it's so difficult. And I think sometimes we can build those habits and our relationship with Jesus mm. becomes just a hookup. I know for me, through school, Jesus was such a Sunday thing, even at right. points. Wow. Yeah. It was Sunday. such a Sunday thing. Up and Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> See you on Monday. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> Back to school. Let's go. And I hooked up and I went to the summer camps, revival. Yeah. And then I'm just like walking in my own, own bad habits through the whole year wow. again. But then I had to really like look at myself and be like, Jess, like this isn't a hookup with God. This is a lifetime relationship. It's mm -hmm. eternal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like Christianity is not a hookup. It's not on and off. It's not on and off. I think that eternal perspective got to me, yeah. Yeah. Um, which was I don't know, so cool. But yeah. Um, yeah, wow. that, that hookup thing. And a lot of it probably comes, I think we can throw it to L here. He ready for L. Mm. Identity. Yes. Identity is huge. In identity. Because identity, it's who you are, right? Yeah. And as people, we often go to identity in what we do into who we're friends with, into all these external things to find our identity. But God's like, no, find your identity in me. Yeah. And there's a great scripture, it's in Matthew, and it talks about you can build your life on the rock mm -hmm. or you can build your life on the sand. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, so often we can build our life on the sand without realizing it. Things that aren't going to hold us. Yeah. But God's saying, no, build your life on the rock. Build your yeah. life on me. Yeah. And, you know, the storm may come, you know, rain might come, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's steadfast and it's not going to fall away. It's not going to slip. You know, if you, if you don't get asked out, if you yeah. don't have as many friends as other people, yeah. like, hey, that doesn't matter. My life's built on the yeah. rock. Yeah. And identity's so big in that end. Talk, Jesse yeah, and I, story. our story. Oh, I was about <laughs> You're to ready jump on for it. Oh, we, we really like our dating story. Uh, I'm glad. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, that makes us look, yeah. Anyway, our, our, our dating, um, yeah. I was, oh, I think I was, what, 19? You were 18. And I really liked Jesse for like a whole eight months, right? Ooh. And I just felt such a peace over it, but I intentionally didn't do anything because I felt like, I just felt it was. It was not ready yet. It wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. He was a bit younger than me. It just wasn't yep. right. We, so I we patiently waited. And we hung out in groups a little bit at Yeah, but I even intentionally like didn't feed into it. I just kind yeah, of kept that saying. healthy distance. Mm. And then when it was kind of like felt like it was the right time, like, you know. I was asking her out. I was saying, older. hey, come on, like, Let's can we go on a date? date? <laughs> can, we, <laughs> can we get the show on the road? Yeah. <laughs> and this on. is like, so we go on our first date and I had eight whole months of liking yeah. Jesse. So we go on our first yeah. date yeah. and then it's so much fun. Like, and I still really like him, like best yeah. date. And at the end of the date, I said, Jesse, like, I really like you, but can we wait? Yeah. you. you can we wait? That was big. That was like, oh, you were like, like oh. heart was like <gasps> dropping, but also there. And yeah. Yeah. did I step too far? Like oh, you'd already waited. Yeah. And waited. And yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. And, but out of that moment where you actually pushed and said, hey, I'd, I want to protect this and even wait. Mm. I respected you and that decision so much. Yeah. yeah. I didn't run away and tell everyone about what happened, but I really protected it. Yeah. Almost stewarded, yeah, like really precious. a really healthy distance we had. Yeah. We weren't texting. Gave it time. We weren't texting every day. We weren't calling at night. Yeah. We weren't doing that. In, we weren't living in each other's pockets. Yeah. And the thing is, like, because my identity, I was yeah. like, my identity's in God. It's not in this relationship. But I, I knew, because I had that relationship with God, I knew it wasn't the right time. Yeah. Like, it just wasn't the right time. I, 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 you know when you just know? You've got this, like, knowing? Yeah. You know mm. when you know. And I was like, I really yeah. like him. I feel like he's, like, my guy. But it's just not the right time yet. Mm. So it was a risk for me to say that, because I thought Jesse might have been like, you're, you're so weird. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going to go out with someone else. But he respected it and he waited with me and then it hit another time I was like let's wait a little bit longer but no, oh, it, it, was almost, it was like a whole like another another few, three months four yeah. months uh, I just kept waiting I, knew I just had to feel like a good piece and anyway and then when we started dating it was just the right time and yeah. looking back in hindsight I'm so glad we did wait that time because a few things happened within that mm -hmm. like even just little things but so the point like really is like waiting is underrated. Waiting is totally underrated. Yeah. Pop that in the chat. Waiting is underrated. Waiting's underrated. Wait and in hindsight. It and was if perfect. you're feeling like, oh, I just I don't know if I know who I am in Christ yet, just yeah. dig into your yeah. relationship with Christ. Yeah. Let yeah. that be the number one main thing. All through so, high school yeah. I could have dated people, yeah. but I was like, no, the my motivation for dating them would be wrong. Right. It would be to put up a photo on Instagram of us and like look cool with a boyfriend. Yeah. But I knew in my heart, I was like, no, that's not the right motive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so God, I'm going to pursue you first. Mm. So, good, uh, come on. Pays off, guys. Oh. <laughs> I reckon, guys, that's it's so good. good. It's almost like, you know, it, like last week we talked about how like God made us, right? And He made us with a sexuality. And yes. therefore, to be attracted to people is normal. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, it's normal to one day be like, oh, like, I want to mate. I want to not mate. I want to date. <laughs> hey, I want to mate. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, Once you, you get married, got, we, you, you can mate. We got real yes, yes. Before you mate, date. Yeah. And there needs to be a ring in between that person. Oh my gosh. But the thing is, like, this is normal. This is how God created us. Yeah. And um, I think it's great to, like, if you find yourself being attracted to someone, mm. like, ask yourself, hey, what's my motivation here? Yeah. Is, is the timing right? Mm. And I'm telling you, like, I am so glad that Em and I met when we did meet mm -hmm. because we'd both kind of like, you know, we'd had some prior relationships. We'd made, I'd made like a whole bunch of mistakes. I'd learnt so much. Mm. Mm. And so what God was able to do in my life uh, when I was single, the things he was working in me, yeah. mm. it was like none of that was wasted. Yeah. Like if you ever have a mindset that's like, um, if I'm not with someone, the life I'm living right now is 
like wasted. Yeah. Like, That's yo, true. Jesus died single. Yeah. Are you, yes. Like, yeah. Paul was single are, too. Are you saying the life Jesus lived was not worthy? Yeah. That had no value? Like, yeah. like sometimes we've diminished being single to this, like, oh. and made an idol out of marriage. Yes. And it's like, I can't even find that in the Bible. They're oh both my. beautiful yeah. expressions yeah. of God's glory. But the crazy yeah. thing is, God can set up the most amazing foundations mm. yes. mm. when you're single. Yeah. And yeah. like, Em and I talk about all the time, we're like, we're so glad we met each other when we did. Because if we'd met each other a few years before, when we were like we're still so <laughs> figuring out some of those foundations, I don't actually think we ever would have got together. Or if yeah. we did, it wouldn't have worked. Because no. wow. God still had mm. so much to do in us. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you feel like God still got some like really important foundational stuff to do in you, wait. Yes. yes. And if it's if it feels right now, it's gonna be right in a year after you've yeah. waited or yeah. two years. Yeah. Like yeah. And there's no such thing as wasted time with God. <laughs> mm. You yeah. might be stepping away from that person, but you're not stepping away from God. Yeah. And so there's no such thing as wasted time yeah. Yeah. if you're waiting with God. Yeah. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Oh, this is good stuff. This is <laughs> great. But, and uh, can I just say it's gonna hurt to wait. Yes, that's it. let's sit on that. Yeah. Don't be like, don't be sitting around being like, wow, it's so fun to wait. <laughs> oh my, I'm just having the best time. I, I couldn't like, stand it w- just, waiting. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> just like, wow, this is so good. Like, no, it's, no. It, there's going to be times when it really hurts to wait. Yeah. And you're going to, I remember times when I was single and I was just like, like, oh God, like, like I want to, I want to be with someone. Like I want to. And, and like we've talked about, that's a God-given gift to to have that attraction yeah. and to want. To, it's not a bad thing to yeah. want yeah. to be with someone. Yeah. yeah. And so even if it hurts, it's okay because God can do amazing things through pain. Mm. And don't run from that pain. Take that pain to God. Embrace yeah. that. And yeah. and if you feel lonely, God's with you in your loneliness. Mm. Yes. Yeah. If you feel like there's no one there for you, don't worry. Because if you find someone who's not willing to wait, they're probably not good for you anyway. Exactly. Yeah, oh. true that. Worth the wait. Whoa. Because there's a lot Worth of waiting. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Wow. And Many it, different things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, Jesus was single. He was he was going at points, you know, when he's praying before he goes on the cross and he's like, mm. oh, that's... Yeah. Do you remember that Jesus went through I think that was a point I took away last week. Jesus went through the same temptations, mm. the same feelings of attraction and like all that. He was fully human, mm. you know, yeah, but wow. fully God as well. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah um, that blows my mind. Yeah, that's just yeah. whack. Right? <laughs> um, and then like, I guess into like sort of our last point, ba- like boundaries. Boundaries. And boundaries, boundaries like for dating or being single, um, everything. <laughs> yeah, every, everything on it. Like, life. Yeah. Um, Marriage, yeah. There's a few cool analogies you can pull from it, but Boundaries aren't to trap you. Yes. Boundaries are to free you. Yes. Yeah. And boundaries don't look like freedom, mm-hmm. um, but they're kind of like it's freedom in disguise. Mm. I like that. Like the train tracks, you know, such an analogy. These two tracks, yep. the train flies, goes best on the tracks, mm. not off yeah. the tracks. Yeah. And if you, um, if you like say alcohol or say sex or yeah. anything like that, you just want to throw yourself into without having some convictions, you know, it sells like, oh, escape reality. Um, you can get drunk or you can go have sex and just sleep with whoever you want and just release those emotions and that mm-hmm. last and that urge in you. Yeah. But ultimately, like you become a slave to these things that are outside of God's design. That's true. Mm. And you actually tamper with your fu- the future self of what that is or really yep. what God's made it to be. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, it's like don't give them those fake freedoms. Like yes. those, yeah, boun- freedom those boundaries right. are the freedoms, you know. Yeah. And Em, you've got a good analogy too. Yeah, well, it's also a, a train related. Love the train. Love the train. <laughs> Jump on the train <laughs> metaphors with me, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thomas Tank Engine, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's how to picture yeah. boundaries. Has yes. anyone caught a train before? Oh, guilty. Yep. Can get I on the train. That we live on the North Shore. Yeah. Get on the train. <laughs> well, when you're on the train platform, right, there's a yellow line mm-hmm. and there's signs everywhere. Please stand behind the yellow line. Mm-hmm. Now, the yellow line isn't literally on the border where the platform meets the train tracks. It's mm-hmm. actually about a metre back. True. Right. And that metre is just a safety net, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
because if there was to be a huge gush of wind, if someone were to ride past on their skateboard and knock you over, you're still in a safe zone. Yeah, right. Whereas if that line was brought all the way to the edge of the train tracks, Come on. one little gust of wind, one little bump on the shoulder would oh. have you off onto the, <laughs> the, the rails, <laughs> you track. know? Oh. Yeah. And it's a lot harder to get back from the rails onto the platform yeah. than it is if you just took a little, you know, it's knock here nice. and there. It's yeah. like you're still in a safe platform. Mm. And so I think when we talk about boundaries, we're not always talking so black and white, like this is the worst thing you could do and anything up to that point is fine as long as you don't do that. Yeah, There's no. actually things that you can take responsibility for yes. to put those little extra centimetres, a 30 centimetre margin, whatever it is, yep. to go, I just don't even want to be swayed yeah. in that direction. I'm just going to be extra safe and extra cautious yeah. because sin can be a slippery slope. Yeah. You know, once you do one thing, other things are so much oh, easier to justify yeah. as well. It's so true. And so boundaries are actually there to help us stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. And I just have like this picture was we were praying for tonight. Jesus is holding your hand on the other side of that yellow boundary line. Mm. Yeah. You're doing it with him. He's holding your hand, yeah. making sure that you yeah. don't stumble, that you yeah. don't fall over. But there's a reason why we take a good step back yes. and not just draw the line mm. right where it's at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's wow. so true. Oh man. And <laughs> love that. And Christ has saved us ultimately from all that sin, which is so like if we have like, you know, stepped over and fallen on the tracks. Yeah. You still can get back on. Absolutely. You yeah. still can make it in and reset yourself. He's got and grace. He's got the grace. Yeah. And you have a good point on that one too. The, the it's it's our um it's our choice. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. boundaries are actually ultimately our responsibility that we put in place. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you what you should and shouldn't do. This is all just advice we're taking. Take this, you know, into. We're not forcing any of this upon you, but take this in. But it's your responsibility. Don't let someone else's boundaries define yours. Yeah. Is a cool way as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Do you want me to like extrapolate? Oh, if, yeah. if, if you want. Um, <laughs> so, you know, like, I think something that's so good about boundaries and that is actually set us free. Yes. Is that like your boundaries are your responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Repeat after me. My boundaries <laughs> yes. are my responsibility. Yes. yes. What does that mean? That means like, like, the, I think the classic trap is like, oh, like, you know, if like, you know, if that girl wasn't wearing like such a revealing bikini, like, then it wouldn't be so tempting. And then, like, it's her fault. Like, she should right. she should put more clothes on. And it's like the the it's so easy to like blame other people mm. for where we cross boundaries. Mm. Yeah, right. But actually, it's like maybe it's not about her posting less bikini pics. <laughs> maybe it's about I need to take responsibility for my boundaries. And actually, maybe I need to unfollow some people. Mm. Or maybe I need to stop pointing the finger at other people and saying, oh, if they didn't do that, or if they wore more, or if they didn't mm. tempt me in this way or that way, that, that, you know, then I wouldn't cross all these boundaries. But mm. actually, your boundaries are your responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very empowering to take responsibility. For it's something. so good. And you see, like, in Genesis, yep. in the garden, yep. Eve came before Adam, yep. tempted Adam. What did Adam do? They're pointing the fingers. He, he fell into that temptation. <laughs> he took the apple. God's like, yeah, what happened? And Adam turns around and he's like, Eve made me do it. And yeah. then Eve's like, the snake made me do it. Yeah. And each one of them, at every point, had an opportunity to take responsibility for what they did. Yeah. But instead of doing that and saying, God, I stuffed up, they just blamed. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And they didn't get anywhere. Like yeah. they didn't grow in that situation. Mm. They got kicked out of the garden. God yeah. favors the humble. Yeah. And yeah. so if you want to grow as a young woman or a young man of God, it starts with taking responsibility for your boundaries. Mm. Yeah. That's Amen. Great. And respecting great. other people's boundaries. So yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah. So good. Last little scripture even. Yeah. Galatians 2.20. This will come up. Yeah. I have been crucified with Christ. I love this what Paul writing. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Yeah. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith mm. in the Son of God, who loved me and gave, gave himself for me. Guys. Oh, you look good you look after watching good. that video, hey. That did oh, wonders for you. That did wonders for your soul, <laughs> yes, for your it life. Did. It did. Mm. And we're not just on YouTube, we're on Instagram. You can go Instagram. check us out, c3syd.youth. Mm. 
no, no, check us out. We've got content there. We've got content here. We sure do. It's, um, it's one big party. It's everywhere. We love you guys. We love you.